Okay. So I'm just taking a few examples from what you all said. Um, the first one is four comma six, and I don't want to go to the equation first. I want to go to my graph. Four comma six would be here. One comma two would be here. Zero comma two would be here. Negative two and zero would be here. Three and one would be here. So those are just five ordered pairs and I don't see a clear line. So I'm gonna go and I'm gonna put some of these numbers in. If I say for the first one, this would be four plus, oops, I, <laughs> let me try that again. The first ordered pair is four and six. So I'm gonna put them in where the X and Y are. And that one is true. So this point is a good one. My second ordered pair that uh, one of you came up with is one comma two. So I'm gonna put the one where the X is, the two where the Y is and see if that works. And that comes out to be two is equal to three. So the ordered pair one comma two does not work. Then I'm gonna test zero two. Running out of room to write here. <clears throat> zero goes where the X is, two goes where the Y is, and then I fill in the rest of this equation. Two equals two, this is a good point. Negative two and zero. So we would get negative two and zero for my X and my Y plus two. Negative two plus two is zero. That one checks. So that's a good point as well. And then finally, we've got three comma one. We're going to put in a three where the X is, a one where the Y is, and we get one equals five, which is not true. But I'm going to take that person's ordered pair and I'm going to reverse it and say one comma three and see if one comma three, here's one, three, that looks like it might be in line. And I'm gonna rewrite this equation with a one here and the three where the Y is. So that works. So as you're looking at slide two, I want you to look at your ordered pair and see if it makes sense with the equation y equals x plus two. Check it on slide three. And if it didn't get on the line, that'll tell you uh, how to fix it. I am going to stop the recording for now and unpause it. Unpause. Okay, so what we're being asked on screen four here is about the points that you have identified. And there's quite a few different ones that I'm seeing on slide um, on the slide before, where you were asked to find an ordered pair that would make this equation true. Some ways to check it that I'm seeing from you on the screen. There's some great answers here. People are saying things like, I can check my work by um, putting the ordered pair on the graph to see if it fits. 
Some are saying I could put my ordered pair into the equation and see if the equation works. Uh, and I just wanted to show those two different versions. Let me use a couple of examples from you all. On slide two, I'm seeing uh, Alex use the ordered pair two comma four. And his two comma four would go here and here. And is that on the line? Yes. I see another that is six and eight, and it goes all the way up here. I see three and five. That's Amy. The six and eight was Alex Z. All of those are on the line. So we could just take the ordered pair and go and find it on the line. Let me put Alex B's up there. <laughs> Both Alex is an Amy. You can tell I have the list alphabetical right now because I'm looking at the top of the list. Other people said I can plug my ordered pair into my equation and see if it works. And the equation is y is equal to x plus two. And since in our ordered pairs, it always goes x, y, if I was going to check Alex Z's, six is his X and eight is his Y. There's the rest of the equation. Eight equals eight and that works. So even if I hadn't graphed it, I would know that it would work because this is the equation for this line. This line's title is Y equals X plus two. That means it has an invisible slope of one. And this is going up one over one, up one over one. So that's my slope. The y-intercept is two. The line is crossing here at two. And now that looked like a weird little spider. <laughs> There's my y-intercept. So I know that this equation <clears throat> is the equation that graphs this line. There's one other way I wanted to show you all that I didn't see show up in your answers on this and was the main reason I paused you. You can also do a table to check your answer. Or if I was gonna be checking a bunch of your answers, this would probably be how I would do it as your teacher just because it's easier to check a bunch at one time. If the input is the X and the output is the Y, what happens in the middle is the rule and right here is the rule, that x plus two. So let me take Alex Z's. His input is six, six plus two, my output is eight. There's my x, there's my y, so it works. Amy's was three, five. Three is my input, my x. The rest of the rule is plus two, three plus two is five. Alex B gave us two and four. Two plus two is four. So I can also use a table to generate these. And sometimes when they're tables like this, you'll see a final column that's X comma Y, where we go back and we write them as the ordered pair. Okay, so I'm going to unpause the Desmos and let you just get back to where you were and keep going. I'm seeing some great work happening. If you get stuck, you know to send me a note in the chat and I can try to help, help you get unstuck. <laughs> 